Question 5. Figure 7 shows a student putting a coin into a vending machine that sells food. 5.1. The vending machine is connected to the mains electricity supply. What is the frequency and the potential difference of the mains electricity supply in the UK? Well, we're expecting that one to be 50 hertz for frequency in UK and 2 130 volts. Students need to remember those. The vending machine identifies the value of the coin by measuring the resistance of the coin. Question 5.2. The power dissipated by the coin is 340 milliwatts. When the current in the coin is 0.75 amps, calculate the resistance of the coin. Use the physics equations sheet. So the first thing we do is to write down the power, which is 340 milliwatts, and the milli is divided by 1000, or you can say times 10 to the power minus 3. So that's 340 times 10 to the power minus 3, or 340 divided by 1000, same thing. And that gives 0 0.34 watts. So I've converted the milli watts into watts then the current provided is 0 0.75 amps so you can see that here we're to calculate or the resistance of the coin so i need to write the equation that relates power with current power is current times voltage and then using ohm's law voltage is current times resistance therefore i need to replace the voltage with the current times resistance here so we get power equals to current. I've replaced the voltage here, here with this one here. And that gives power equals to current squared times resistance. Now we need to rearrange and make R the subject. And then we need to populate the values for power and the current. And when we plug that into our calculator, we get the resistance to be 0 0.6 ohms. So we look at the unit here, we only need ohms. So we have to write 0 0.6. And that's the answer for that one. Question 5.3. Coins that are dirty are not recognized by the vending machine. Suggest so one reason why. The dirt changes the measured resistance of the coin. Next, question 5.4. Figure 8 shows part of a different circuit that is used to monitor the temperature inside the vending machine. So in this, we got the power supply, 12 volts. We got the fixed resistor here, 400 ohms. We got a thermistor. We're measuring the voltage across the thermistor. The voltage here plus the voltage here across the fixed resistance must equal to the voltage supply here, 12 volts. And this resistor here is in series with the thermistor. Question 5.4. The circuit symbol for a thermistor has not been included. Draw the circuit symbol for a thermistor in the box below. You start with a fixed resistor. So the rectangle is a fixed re resistor with a line to the left and to the right. Then you draw this line across it and then and that's how you draw the thermistor. Figure 9 shows the resistance of the thermistor varies with temperature. We got the resistors in ohms, we got the temperature in degree Celsius. So for question 5.5, the cooling system inside the vending machine turns on when the temperature of the thermistor is above 20 degree Celsius. Determine the potential difference across the thermistor when the temperature is 20 degree Celsius. Use the physics equations sheets. This is five marks. So you know to determine we need to read the current here. We need to, this is a temperature 20 degrees and we need to draw a line across to get the resistance here at 20 degrees. So let's draw the line up and across and we'll identify that to be 80 ohms. Write the total resistor that are in series. We know the resistor of the thermistor is 80. So this is 80 ohms at 20 degrees and that's 400 ohms. The reason why we need to know the total resistance is we need to know the total current flowing in that direction. So current flows in that direction because that's positive. So current flows in that direction and this is negative. Electrons flows in this direction. So the total resistance will be 400 plus 80. That's 480 ohms. 
we know the power supply this is voltage by the way from the main power supply it is 12 volts but the formula the voltage using Ohm's law so you can write the main power voltage like that the voltage is equal to the total current and the total resistance we need to find the total current first which is the voltage over resistance making the current the subject we need to populate the values 12 over 480 and the current will be 0 0.025 amps so that means the current flowing through this resistor here current flowing there will be 0 0.025 amps but we're trying to determine we want to determine the potential difference across the th thermistor we're trying to find that potential difference here if we know the current flowing through there, we can find the potential difference because we know the resistors. If we know the resistance and we know the current, we can find the voltage. So the voltage across the thermistor, that's why the capital T there for thermistor, is equal to the current flowing, the total current, because it flows in a single series, times the resistor of the thermistor, which is 0 0.025 current times the resistor 80 and that is two volts we're looking at the unit here they want us to just write two here so we'll write two volts 